part 5 of this video series covers the final 5 kilometers adjacent to the Wolf River and it has a very easy gradient consistently above 1 in 20. This is by far the easiest section of the entire pass but drivers are cautioned not to become too lax as the prevalence of livestock on the road is even more likely here than higher up on the mountain. Here and there a home makes an appearance on the right hand side of the road but the density of the population is sparse. The valley is bordered by two mountain ridges that run in a southeasterly direction. The Wolf River is a fairly short one with a substantial catchment area but it's by far the smaller of the two rivers that feed into the Sandile Dam. About two kilometers before the end of the pass, the western arm of the dam starts making an appearance on the left hand side of the road. This arm is formed by the Wolf River whilst the bigger eastern arm is formed by the much bigger Kaiskama River. The Eastern Cape's administrative capital is Bishu, but its two largest cities are Port Elizabeth and East London. The province was formed in 1994 out of the Koza homelands of Transkei and Siskei, together with the eastern portion of the Cape province. Landing place and home of the 1820 settlers, the central and eastern part of the province is the traditional home of the Koza people. This new province resulted in several anomalies, including the fact that the province has four supreme courts in Grahamstown, Port Elizabeth, Bishu and Umtata, and enclaves of KwaZulu-Natal within the province. The latter anomaly has fallen away with amendments to municipal and provincial boundaries. The province's population is also made up of the Umpondo clan, which primitively descended from the Koza clan. Some of the Mpondo clan went to this province when they were running away from King Shaka's war. Mpondo people are more closely related to Koza as they used Koza as their main home language. Turn left at this T-junction to access the dam wall. The Sandila Dam is a zoned embankment dam located at the confluence of the Wolf and Kaiskama rivers. It was established in 1983 and serves mainly for irrigation purposes. The dam was named in honor of King Sandile, once the reigning king of the Raradi subgroup of the Koza nation. There is ample safe parking adjacent to the spillway where one can get good views of the structure of the wall and its wide spillway which is capable of handling a large amount of overflow water during high rainfall periods. Only the road directly on the dam wall itself is tarred, all the approach roads are gravel. The eastern cape gets progressively wetter from west to east. The west is mostly semi-arid Karoo, except in the far south, which is temperate rainforest in the Tsitsikama region. Once on the dam wall and looking southwards, the three villages of Lower Wolf, Lower Ngumea and Upper Ngumea are visible from right to left. If you wish to return to Allison Hogsback, turn right here and head southwest via Burns Hill and Fort Cox to rejoin the Tard R63. If you want to head east towards Stutterheim, turn left through Kaiskama Hook, followed by the Donser Pass and Gubu Dam on the gravel road option. 